Rainbird is a place that is gonna hold a special place in the heart of Central Valley and to have it here in Merced where we can hold food that's gonna take it to the next level and food that's going to inspire people and inspire cooks, inspire future chefs and inspire foodies that don't have to go outside of Merced anymore, they can have it right here. I want this to be the base that guests know they can come back here and have an amazing experience that would rival something they can get in LA or San Francisco. My name is Tu David Fu. I'm a first generation Vietnamese American chef, author, and filmmaker. And this opportunity came about because I connected with Kim Garner of the El Captain Hotel in Merced and Chef Mitch of UC Merced. They came out to a dinner uh, that I was hosting through a program called Farming Hope, where I was cooking multi-course tasting menus for housing insecure. And just through the sensibilities of community and you know eating over good food and connecting with good people, they told me about Merced and. You know, after five minutes of convincing me and breaking my arm, I had to check out Merced and check out the town and cook here in town. Everything's been amazing. Hi, my name is Chef Clinton Garcia. I'm the executive chef here at El Capitan, Major Theater and Rainbird Restaurant. Um, we were able to collaborate with Chef Tu from really a, a, a kind of a playful mindset of, of understanding that this restaurant is really based on the community and for the community. I'm not so neurotic about my thought process in food. I think that uh, I, I try to cook from an honest place and um, honesty for me is uh, being proud and valuing what I ate growing up, um, in particular me being food insecure. Um, so this menu is a reflection of my father's career-long tenure as a fishmonger on Pier 45 in San Francisco, uh, my mother um, cooking as a full-time seamstress, and finding really innovative ways to put food on the table. Um, that's the root of how I learned how to taste food, what my relationship with food is, and what you're going to taste tonight. So for me, I absolutely love Nordic and Japanese techniques, so you see that light in some of my dishes, whether it's unagi or whether we're using a wasabi that we actually got in from Japan. So those techniques and with his technique combined in fermentations and getting really strong, clean flavors, they resonate really well with mine, which is a lot of cooking things on the fire and treating vegetables like a piece of meat. Uh, I'm able to bring in a sort of extra lightness and purity from those techniques that I'm able to impart onto my dishes while giving respect to uh, his style of cooking that he's attributed for, for over 30 years. Every time I cook a dinner, it's usually reserved for community spaces. And my hope in cooking dinners, in addition to having people um, enjoy the meal themselves. Um, it's my hope that I inspire people to invest a little bit more energy and effort into their community spaces. That's why I've cooked dinners now. I don't do restaurants. Um, I don't cater. I reserve all my cooking opportunities, especially collaborative dinners, to inspire and support community, period. Being able to impart that into just minuscule parts of the menu, to me, is, is an absolute gift because we're able to give this community an even, even higher level of food that we're unusually able to because we don't source these ingredients locally. But just a little bit out of our reach, being able to give you guys these luxury ingredients in Merced food and Merced vegetables and Merced protein, that makes me super excited.